Uyghurs are among the world's most ancient Turkic peoples. They speak a Turkic language that most closely resembles Uzbek and is also similar to Tatar, Kazakh and Kyrgyz. According to Chinese government statistics, about 11 million Uyghurs live in what is now the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, which is known for its forbidding desert as well as its alpine beauty. Xinjiang makes up one-sixth of China's total land mass. It's rich in natural resources including gold, oil, natural gas and uranium. Uyghurs and their ancestors have lived in Central Asia for around 2,000 years. They have established kingdoms, city-states and even empires rivaling China's Tang Dynasty. Vibrant trade and cultural exchanges along the Silk Road have brought a cosmopolitan character to the Uyghur homeland going back centuries. Over the past two millennia, Uyghurs have believed in Tengrism, Shamanism, Manichaeism, Nestorian Christianity and Buddhism. Today, most Uyghurs are Muslims. Uyghurs have declared independence twice in the past century, first in 1933 and again in 1944, and established the independent Eastern Turkestan Republic. Communist China gained control of the region in 1949 with the military support of the Soviet Union. In 1955, China renamed it the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Xinjiang means new territory in Chinese. Many Uyghurs today resent China's efforts to prohibit Uyghur language instruction in schools and restrict the practice of Islam. They also bristle at restrictions on travel, including frequent ID checks and body searches. In July 2009, violent ethnic rioting erupted in Xinjiang's capital, Urumqi, that left hundreds dead. The ruling Chinese Communist Party blames Uyghurs for the rioting and a string of violent attacks and clashes in the years since. Critics say Beijing's repressive policies towards Uyghurs are the root cause of violence in the Uyghur region. <laughs>